Hello, and a warm welcome to my farmer friends. This is IA Roadkill, and this is my episode zero of the FS19 Felsbrunn map. This is actually my second episode to produce. I'm calling it episode zero because this is where I did the landscaping to set some of my buildings and also the placement of my buildings and animal pens. After making episode one, I decided some people might like to see exactly what it was that I changed and did to set up. Before starting my editing, I see the movie clip is around 42 minutes long. Uh, I am planning on editing out or fast forwarding through some mistakes that I make to shorten that up a bit. But if I do, I will let you know exactly what I'm jumping over and when I do it. Also, I would like to let you know that this is a voiceover. I did not speak at all while I was setting up my map, so I will add this commentary as the video progresses. Okay, first thing I did, I went in and set the time to real. Economic difficulty, I'm set at hard, dirt slow. I like engine start off, but I do like stop and go braking. Uh, I will put plant growth to off and auto save to off. And save it. Okie doke. Funds. Started with 500,000. Now I'm going to take out the maximum loan for a total of $1 million. Alright, in the map I have chosen uh, the plots 1 and 2 to purchase. And that's where I'm going to call home. And grab my lawn chairs. There's a little building up here, which I'm going to call the house. And it'll give me sleep possibilities, excuse me, as long as I have the chair. Got kind of lost going up the hill there. And zoom in a little bit, spin them around. Scooch them up there, scooch them in. There we go. Right there, that's good. Okay. Now, let's do some animal pens. I'm going to put down two horse paddocks, two of the little ones. And I liked this little spot here. But after I get them spun around, here in just a second. Yeah, that's right there. I was starting to notice, you know, this is pretty uh, pretty goofy terrain. I don't know if this is going to work. So, I went to the landscaping. And I saved it before I started. That is a very wise tip for anybody that wants to do landscaping. If you make a mistake, you can go back and reload it. Okay, so here I'm looking to flatten, which is the uh, R1, I think, and looking for a good location to pick for a height. And there we go. And I'm just holding the R1 button down and scooching across to level out some ground. Filling in that little ravine that was right there. I 
happen to know that just about where I went went to the back back there is the extent of where I can level out. That's my land boundary that of what I own. try to make it a little bit wider and it says no well gosh darn it anyway I'll leave it there so looks pretty level that's a spot right there that I can probably smooth out later so let's put down the horse paddock again see how it does I did not save yet because I'm not sure if this little land placement is going to be good. So, spin the horse paddock around. Ah, uh, yes. Now I got some nice spot to set it. Looks like I can fit two in there. Nice and easy. The doorway will be just off to the side of the. Uh, bumpy terrain that's there. And I ought to be able to get this one set in right there. Sometimes it's hard to decide how this computer really wants you to uh, set up your buildings. And I did not notice that the height on this building is up in the air and I don't know when it decided it wanted to do that so I was a little perturbed and we started over all right let's try that again And I want to make it a little bit higher this time. So, it looks like a good level though. Bringing it out. Filling everything in. And then it dawns on me that I raised it up and then chopped it down, which means I spent double the money to make that spot. So I started over again. Okay, this is my third attempt. Try this again. Trying to make a nice smooth back there. It uh, it leaves grass if you just miss right there. And I went back and got it. And I think if you don't get those little spots that it makes voids so that uh, buildings can't be placed. Gonna scooch it all out here and make it nice and level and I 
little bit higher on the road that I wanted to be, but this is my third try. I wasn't ready to start over again. Back and get that hole. Get that piece of grass. I did notice that I've got a little step down right there going to the corn or to the field. I'm going to have to make sure I go back and smooth that. And I'm checking right here to see if I can extend my my flat spot back and I don't want to because uh, I'd like to keep it straight and let's grab a horse paddock again see if we can get it to sit show us some green This is when I realize, you know, maybe I don't need the horse paddocks that far over. I'll just put them over here. I think I might have been getting tired of trying to get this set up. Yeah, bring it back out. still strange why I can't place the building over there. I don't know what was messing it up. Let's see if we can scooch it just a little bit to the left. Gonna call that good. There we go. Finally, we set one. made sure I was on the same terrain that it was looking at that it didn't jump up and down now I'm gonna check to see if it's straight side to side I said it it didn't pop up in the air woohoo I've got two horse paddocks on a flat plane yay I think it took me so long right there because I couldn't believe I did it. Alright, come down here and take a look at it. Looks good. Well, you know, I got a pretty big spot there. Now I can put something there. Maybe a, a shed or... You know what? I know what I'm going to put there. I'm going to save it first. I don't know why I jumped to this. Um, I, I don't know why I jumped to this instead of staying over there by the horse paddocks. But in the back of my mind, I, I had seen these little rocks over here, little rocks, these big rocks over here, and thought, you know, there's nothing I can do over there, so I might as well put a storage 
and sell point building. Found the sweet spot. There we go. Run over there and check it. And a little dip there, a little hill there. Pretty nice there. Yeah, I gotta lower this down. Liking it. Saved. I still can't believe I set that in one try. There we go. That's what I was thinking about doing before. Put the water tank right here. Because there is no place to get water up on the top of this hill. You have to go all the way down the bottom of the hill to get any water. Nice little spot there. And I left the spigot sticking straight out, uh, running north-south. Save again. Every time something goes right, you save. Alright, two more things to set. A seed sale point. I want to get the building even with the fence row. And that puts the trigger just off the road or the path. So now I'm squaring it up with the fence row, making sure it's straight line. And let's place it. Now we're going to do the fertilizer hut. So those were fairly painless, setting those. I said it's good, I'm going to put grass down here. As long as there was grass, I don't believe it charges you. So I only have to pay if I'm putting grass where there was a void in one of these spots. Maybe it was dirt underneath it. And where I put the water tank, it will definitely charge me for grass because I changed the the base. Yeah, you should smooth that out first. I thought for sure I was gonna get into the field. It took me a while to do this. I, I spent a lot of time rubbing this down and it didn't really cost me that much. I think it's if you're taking away dirt, it costs less than if you're adding dirt. There's some deep ravines in the grass to the right there, which when I start playing, you'll see the tractor really bounce. And at some point when I get money, I will do some more landscaping there and smooth that out so that grass is worthwhile to to mow and and bale. Still amazed at the location of this building site right here. Plopped her down the first try. Not too bad. Fairly accessible. A little steep if you go straight off the edge, but no reason to go over there. And now we're going to put the grass back. One last check to make sure I've got everything. Oh yeah, I did this spot. Put some more grass down here. And that brings us to the end of another episode. I'd like to thank everyone who stayed to watch the entire video. If you found it enjoyable, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you would like to leave a comment, you may do so below. And with that said, I would like to wish everyone, including you, a very wonderful day.